If somebody really is serious about losing weight, step one, vegan. Get rid of the animal product. Fiber fills you up, but it doesn't have any calories at all. Every animal product is zero fiber. Plants have fiber. Tip one, get the animal products out. Tip two, keep the oils really low and oily foods, including nuts and so forth. Now, nuts are a lot healthier than spam, but they do pack a fair amount of fat. And if weight loss is your thing, you want to go easy on those things too. Um, step three, sugary, sugary foods, not the best. Um, get that sweet taste from fruit not from a soda and cookies and all that kind of stuff. And tip four, it's good to exercise. Now, exercise does not take the place of all the others. In fact, people who just exercise and don't change their diets, they really don't lose weight very much, no matter how much they exercise. It really is not that effective. However, it adds to these other things. If for no other reason, you can't eat a bowl of ice cream while you're running. Are really simple. Um, one thing is that you should eat a hearty breakfast. So I like a really big breakfast of oatmeal, some fruit, some nuts, maybe some soy milk poured on top or almond milk, something like that. Um, I really love snacks because I don't like to feel like I'm being deprived. So I have pretty much every day at around four o'clock, I have an apple uh, with some peanut butter on it. It's really good. So the fat from the peanuts is very satiating. And again, all that fiber from the nuts and from the apple keeps me uh, holding till dinner. And so I think the thing is to not ever feel like you're deprived. My favorite weight loss tip is uh, you know, two syllables, fiber. So if you're consuming a lot of fiber, you're going to be not consuming uh, a lot of calories because fiber is an indigestible carbohydrate. So the calories you're consuming in the form of fiber don't even absorb, but it does so many other amazing things like fill you up when you haven't eaten that many calories. So you're gonna eat less or eat fewer calories. Um, but then you get all those other side effects. You get the lower uh, blood pressure, the lower cholesterol, the hormone reductions that put you at reduced risk for cancer. So it's my favorite weight loss tip because consuming more fiber because it comes with so many other benefits. If you look at the big epidemiological studies, the preponderance of evidence over decades, decades, or even more than decades at this point, there's no question that a whole food plant-based diet, you can lose weight, you could eat more, you don't have to eat very low calories, and you're gonna have these incredible health benefits. A whole food plant-based diet helps with weight loss and it's the solution for weight loss and I think emotional eating because a diet that's high in fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains is high in fiber and fiber helps with satiety. Additionally, it's also a diet that's high in nutrient density. So you're gonna get a lot of vitamins, minerals, and you're really gonna get a lot of energy from a diet that focuses on whole foods. People worry about beans because they think, oh, they're high in calories. I want people to eat more beans. They do amazing things. They help keep you full. They have soluble fiber that helps you lower cholesterol. They do all kinds of good stuff. They actually help you control your blood sugar, not just the day you eat them, but the day after because of their effects on the microbes that live in our guts. So more beans for weight loss, also lots and lots of fruits and veggies. And if you're gonna have whole grains, to have them in their intact form. So a whole grain bread is good, but even better something like wheat berries or quinoa or rolled oats. Uh, you don't see obese vegans who are eating whole food. Why not? Because whole plant foods, nature and her wisdom, makes them largely out of fiber and water. No matter what the vegetable is, whether it's kale or broccoli or melons or green peas, when you analyze them, they're mostly fiber and water. And when you eat a big, huge salad, you filled your tummy up largely with fiber and water, and uh, the water gets excreted out in the urine, the fiber passes out in the stool. There's so little calorie density, density there that nothing really sticks to you. And the glory of uh, eating a whole food, plant-based diet is there's no portion control. Whether you go back for a fourth bowl of vegetable soup, who cares, it's vegetable soup. It's all fiber and water. You pee it right out, it doesn't stick to you. So we have have data from the Adventist health studies that the thinnest Adventists are those that responded to the survey that they ate an all plant diet. Those that ate a partially plant diet, the vegetarian group were in the middle, and those that ate an omnivore meat-based diet were the heaviest of the Adventists. So we've seen that in many other studies. That's an observational study. But then you go to work by Dr. Neil Barnard, Dr. Dean Ornish, and many others. If you intervene with a whole food plant diet, as opposed to the junk 
vegan diet in the grocery stores, frozen and packaged and stuff, but a whole food diet, you'll have sustained weight loss and healthy weight loss that favors better hearts, better brains, better sexual function, better skin, and better blood sugar, blood cholesterol. So that's what we want. We want the comprehensive gain out of all that. We are not designed to be eating literally the garbage that we eat today. Uh, pizzas, burgers, these uh, foods that are uh, made in factories and uh, have no resemblance to anything that might be grown uh, in, a, in a field. Uh, these foods are very calorically dense and they're designed that way because uh, they, uh, the people who make them want these foods to taste good so you keep buying them and you invest in their product. The stomach responds to volume. Okay. So when people eat a high fat diet, they can eat a cookie that's 200 calories, but they will not feel full because a cookie is only so small and the stomach doesn't have a chance to expand very much. But if you take that 100, 200 calories and you convert it to broccoli, so let's say you eat six cups of broccoli, because every cup of broccoli is only about 30 to 50 calories, imagine eating four cups of broccoli, you will be full. The top weight loss tips that I have is just to, when you're about to eat something, just think, could I find this food existing naturally in nature? So I always talk to patients about how we evolved as humans. When we were hungry, we had to go for a walk and we had to find food. So that was leaves, fruit in the tree, tubers in the ground. And so if you are trying to lose weight, sticking to those minimally processed whole plant foods tends to uh, help a lot. Make sure uh, that all your meals are plant-based and low in fat. Uh, when you're trying to lose weight, uh, about 30 to 50% of everything you're, you're eating should be fresh vegetables. Uh, also, um, make physical activity uh, a part of your daily routine. Uh, in addition to um, walking about 10,000 steps a day, uh, do some hiking, some running, some swimming, uh, or some weightlifting. When your body is in balance and there is not inflammation and hormone dysregulation causing your weight gain, you don't actually have to count calories. I've been a doctor for 14 years and I've worked with many weight loss clients in my wellness business. And in my opinion, by far the best way to lose weight is by adopting a whole food plant-based diet. So my number one tip is that if we know the process that's involved in how we gain weight, then it's very easy just to unzip it and do it and go backwards. And the best way to do that is three times a day to consume foods that are rich in the micro and macronutrients that we love. The fats, the carbohydrate, the protein, and of course the micronutrients, the vitamins and the minerals. And nothing does it better than a whole foods plant-based diet.